Hello everyone, once again it is Saturday night and once again we find ourselves with two illustrators that are going to come together and draw a whole bunch of wacky garbage that you, the community, have submitted for us to draw. <laughs> Whoa, Beauty Joe, thank you for the big sub! Boom, dunk the brick. <laughs> Now, for anybody who has not been here before, if you enter exclamation point submit down in the chat, you will be a taken to a wonderful place where you can submit a weird, wacky prompt, and we will attempt to draw it in a rapid-fire two-minute round sometime tonight. Maybe three minutes. We'll get crazy in here. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go to the intro. It's time. It's here. We're here. Over on the left today, joining me is our buddy, Cupo. Hello there, everyone. And, uh, yeah, I'm a uh, professional bee poster artist, uh, overall uh, dragon um, everywhere. Um, hi. <laughs> and joining us on the right-hand side is Rose Songstress returning once again. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, everybody, there are bees here today. <laughs> Kramer, thanks for the bits. We haven't even drawn anything. <laughs> Hang on, I need to take a screenshot of this so I, I can remember this forever. <laughs> so that you will have the memory forever. And with that musical interlude out of the way, we're going to be moving on to our first traditional squiggle round. But first, I want to preserve this forever. It is, it is a very beautiful piece of art. <laughs> oh, all the art here is perfect and professional and also gone. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's see. Let's get us a nice good squiggle for both of y'all. Hmm, what can we oh do? Oh, boy. What can we do? I know. We haven't done one of these in a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What are we doing? Are we doing Uzumaki? I'm so, thinking we're doing Uzumaki. <laughs> so, Artis, I want you to take a deep look at this symbol right here. And let it speak to your heart. Let it speak to your soul. Let it really just get all up inside of you and become a festering emotional tumor for a couple of minutes here. And then we're going to express that back out onto the canvas. Artists... Have you contemplated the squiggle? Yes. Cupo, you good? You feeling good over there? I, I'm i looking for a real good reference. Mm, all right. Uh, Bold move using references. Yeah. I see. I okay, see. got my reference. All right. I have got two minutes up on that clock, and here's counting you down. It is three, two, one, a go. Oh, boy. Uh... I can make the squills uh, bigger or smaller, or it still has to be yeah. about the same thing. Do, do what you want. Time's ticking, my dude. All right, cool. Fine. <laughs> you got a minute 50 up on that clock. How fast can you draw? Oh, my goodness. It's adorable already. What is happening? So again, everyone out there, if you would care to enter exclamation point submit, you can throw prompts at us. Okay, the yeah, worst thing know. that happens is we just don't draw them. But the best thing that happens is we do draw them. It's a, it's a very radical scale, really. Oh no. It's just a drawing that is getting done scale. Uh, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> Artist, this, this is, is your 60 fine. second warning. This is fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. It's great. Okay, that's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just resizing it once more. Whoopsie. All right. Yeah. Oopsie, dang doodles. <laughs> 
Dragonacia was hoping for snail. <laughs> I'm just drawing a Pokemon. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Bold moves. Both sides. <laughs> that is so cute! I mean, I could have gone full Uzumaki on this, but you know. Ten seconds, artists. Close enough. <laughs> Artist, you put those pens down, you're out of time! No more scribbles! Now, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words, so I just saved you guys so much introduction. We can see what our artists are about and the way that they are thinking. But you mm -hmm. know what this image needs? What it really, really needs? It needs a giraffe. Uh, Artist, okay. I got two minutes up on that clock. Are you ready to add a giraffe? Yeah. Uh, I need to resize real quick first. All right, do the move. Do the move, oh, but keep it quick. <laughs> if you need to, you can delete the pink spiral. We're done with it. Oh, it's okay, dead yeah. to us. Uh, uh, no, I okay, actually can. I need the pink around. swirl because I didn't have that. Uh, so I need to actually move both of those things. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you're going to be... Actually... Let me actually resize this once more, and uh, I'll resize the swirl, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing it's in the foreground? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's <laughs> Thank you, foreground. Wobbly, for getting that for me. <laughs> You're welcome. My superior powers of selection tool. <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh, one. There we go. Whoa, whoa, that was, that was some drawing in interstitial rounds, like, hey there. Whoa. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Just, uh, just looking to get that spiral down in there. Yeah, there we go. That's it. You gotta, you gotta click and commit it. Oh shit! No uh, wrong layer. I uh, did not know that I could, that I had. Uh, uh, drop I, pile is not something that I use often. I got you, Admiral. That's why we have a public drop pile room that uh, Pepper Agatha Quinn set up for us. That is open at all hours, at any time. Feel free to drop in there. There's a little more restriction just to keep it fair for why anybody who might pop through. smaller? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you want The button you're you looking want... for is Control Z. There you go. That's the one. There we go. Oh my god, that's hilarious. There we go. We're done. <laughs> All right, artist. I've got two minutes on that clock for a giraffe. Are you prepared? I am prepared. You know what a giraffe looks like? No. Close okay. enough. <laughs> good. Three, two, one. I don't know what noise giraffes make, but pretend that I just did it. Go. Ah, had the wrong tool selected. I do not think that is a giraffe noise, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the things that come out of the, the public draw file, uh, I feel may present sort of an interesting dichotomy because that's what it looks like when these artists have time and these tools. But that's not what this show's about. We're about making deadlines. We're about getting that green and being on budget, you know? Like What is this, Disney? Art is expensive. Yeah, we're Disney. We're the, the toppest here, the fastest, the best. This is the best art you'll ever see in two minutes or less. And I need different colors. Uh... <laughs> These giraffes are majestic. <laughs> yes, I am well aware that I am really close to the edge. It's on purpose. I mean, it just goes under the borders. That's why I warn you about it. 50 seconds. I'm sorry, 40 seconds. I had a oh dyslexic boy. moment. Why are you lying to me? So it turns out giraffes don't make noise. They just play jazz. <laughs> I'm learning new things from chat every night. They just play sweet jazz? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not going to have time to fit that into this. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I have no idea how much this actually looks like a giraffe oh, anymore. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the chuckle of a man who realizes that the fill tool is present in draw pile. Yep. Put that pen down though, because that Holy is the chuckle of a man who is out of time. 
Now, artists, you know, this is this is a really elegant, wonderful painting of a giraffe, but oh god, it's got a gun! Two, two minutes on the clock. Giraffe with a gun. It is three, two, one. Everything is terrifying here at the Draw Pile Studio. We are going to bunker down beneath our desks as this giraffe has a gun. My goodness. That long neck is making it very difficult for it to aim the gun, but at the same time, it's still very intimidating. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bad at drawing guns. <laughs> oh, Beauty Joe, so confident you are. That is not in sequence. <laughs> Dragonacia says that America's Got Talent on in the background, and there's more talent on this screen than that one. And considering it's America's Got Talent, I would be surprised if there weren't more guns on that screen than this one also. Oh! <laughs> oh hang on. Oh, eh, grab that, and then, uh, you do this. More cheats of doodling, and then, uh... <laughs> and then we go back to black. I don't know here. why, but this nail's got a gun too. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots oh, <no>! fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> and my guns are all pointing the wrong way. Twenty seconds, artist. Twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> People saying hello in chat, me furiously checking to make sure the microphones are unmuted. <laughs> they are, don't worry, we're good. <laughs> Artists, oh, you put those pens down. We are out of time. My goodness, everything, everything is terrible. We need a hero to save us from these dark times. Artists, I need you to draw Banjo-Kazooie. This seems like a thing that he could solve. Oh, I need a oh god, are we drawing Banjo- Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie! I, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I'm not looking for Banjo's Google. <laughs> you guys need to look up, uh, look up I, some I of these. I got Mr. Banjo and Kazooie. All right, you found a banjo and a kazoo, and you will be able to combine them successfully then. E. Yes. <laughs> Good. Oh man, that turned into a bear and a phoenix. What? <laughs> two minutes <laughs> on the clock. It is three, two, one. Vidge game references. <laughs> banjo and kazooie stop the armed giraffe. Part one. All right, so I'll do this and grab that and do this. <laughs> Everybody knows about the great folk music that is played between the banjo and the kazoo. <laughs> Blidio blames. Oh god. That's bad. This is what I get for not looking up a reference. <laughs> Looks just like him. 100%. Uh. <laughs> and then go back. Not oh, shoot. Uh, mm. okay, Here. Here. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm that time is ticking away, artists. We are at fifty seconds. Oh boy. Dragonacia, I'm very proud of your mother for choosing a not terrible starter. Like, it's no, it's no Charmander, but still, I'm proud. I mean, Bulbasaur is just uppity salad, let's be real. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the canvas as we wind down in these last five seconds. I don't know why he's got a taser. 
<laughs> Artist, you put those pens down. You're out of time. Banjo Kazooie <laughs> is certainly doing a wonderful job saving us from this armed <laughs> insurrection of giraffes, but I think that the snail was mostly fine before. <laughs> like, honestly, this is uh, this is looking pretty good. But where would this all be going down? Where would these people be? Oh shit. I mean, because I definitely don't want them to be here in my office, like as as was previously stated. Like, let's 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 move them. Let's take them to, I know, the funky pyramids. The what? Oh man, the Die funky cool. pyramids. Artists, are you ready to take these wonderful characters on a journey to the funky pyramids? Uh. Oh, okay. that was not the button I wanted. Ah, yeah. crap. Do you need to resize things? Move stuff? No, I need to. Uh, get... I think I'll be fine. I'm actually I gonna the use the empty space go that I got. Back into the thing. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> this is what I get for not remembering where the new layer right. button is. Well, if we are good to go, then it is <laughs> three, two, one. I'll get funky. Go. Oh, everybody's all mad about Bulbasaur being the worst starter. <laughs> At least he's no Chikorita. Oh, snap. Oh, come on. Oh, Chikorita. Okay, <laughs> and the grass babies are good babies. Grass babies are good babies. <laughs> Hang on, you say Jassy Mountains? Oh, sh Hang on. Yeah, the, the Jazz. Uh, wait, no, they're, the they're, they're Funky Mountains. They're Funky? Yeah, yeah what, Funky they, Mountains. They're, 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 they're Funky Pyramids, not Mountains. Pyramids, yes. Uh, same thing. Funky pyramids, jazzy mountains. <coughs> One's just created by contractors, the other's by nature. Oh god. And I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> uh, it's alright, you know chat's what? trying to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Asia is pointing out that that's a cube. I'm not, it's not a cube! It's the, top, it's the top of the pyramid! Oh god, I'm drawing on the wrong layer now. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Asia with the distraction play! Boom! Uh. I am getting, I'm fairly helped. Thank you very much, and I appreciate that. <laughs> and Jared, also, thank you for that host, and welcome anybody from that to the drawing circus, where we draw wacky prompts way too fast. So they don't actually look anything like they're supposed to. I mean, that all nope. depends on interpretation. <laughs> is that funky enough? Oh, that's pretty funky. Is that? A, is that? A, oh, put those pens down, artist. You are out of time. Now, Cupo. <laughs> I gotta ask, what yes. brand are those sunglasses that that aggressive giraffe has brought to this party? I have no idea. Canon, probably. I don't know. The, the Canon make also sunglasses? I don't remember. D does Canon make sunglasses? Someone's gonna have to. Google I don't remember. Those. I don't know. I mean, it definitely would appear that the giraffe and the pyramid share some stylings. Like, are yeah. they in a band? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> they're, the, they're secretly the Blues Brothers. Oh. Man, they got a really weird animated series. Like, I'm very surprised at this. <laughs> We're Ben just attempting to choke one of the brothers. <laughs> now, <laughs> Toys R Us last day riot. <laughs> now, Rose Songstress, this snail came prepared. Is this perhaps <laughs> one of the star-crossed snails that we've heard so much about in previous editions of the Drawing Circus? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, that was exactly what I was going for. Now, is is this part of his journey? Like, how does he end up here in a gunfight with two giraffes and a bear? <laughs> well, clearly they kidnapped his, his snail love, and now he's gonna get her back, and he's ready and armed. <laughs> I definitely need somebody to make the NES game about that. But, <laughs> artists, I believe that this has reached its pinnacle, its absolute peak. So if you would care to sign your drawing here... Sure. <laughs> I'm 
I will preserve it forever on my hard drive and in the audience's heart. It gets real messy up in there. I've seen it. <laughs> that was the messiest rose I've ever done, but okay. <laughs> there we go. See, this is what happens when you take qualified artists and just remove all of their time. <laughs> time is an artist's superpower, and that they will have none. <laughs> Man, it's like the the opposite. It's like you just remove the limiters <laughs> from an anime, and so I was like, I I have my full power. I'm my, I'm on my full potential. All the weighted clothing is gone. The shackles of time. <laughs> This mm. isn't even my final four! <laughs> <laughs> artists, artists, I believe that that's where we will begin this round. Please draw your final form. I have two <laughs> minutes up on the clock. Oh, dear. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, uh, this is gonna... All right, then it is going to be three, two, oh, one, my final form. Go! Oh, God. As time keeps on ticking, our prompt list keeps on a groan. Thank you to everybody who is submitting prompts. This list is just... It's getting really unwieldy. Like, I could print this out and bludgeon a man with it at this point. <laughs> it oh, is a robust. I'm starting to I'm starting to see where everybody's coming with here. Pulling together some excellent angels and dragons. <laughs> well, I am a dragon technically, so there you go. So oh, a bigger yes. dragon would be a a, a proper final form, I guess. <laughs> How do you make a dragon more final form? I know more dragon. Just add uh, a bunch I, of I just give it more wings, just give it more horns. You know. <laughs> dragon plus Summon a second dragon in the same space and have all of their unique geometry clip through and, like, it's just bonus dragon. There you go. High-quality stuff. And you know what? Uh, just because I can. You've got about 20 seconds coming up on here, artists. <laughs> Artist, you put those pens down because you're out of time. <laughs> but you know what? I, I was going for magical girl. <laughs> going for a magical girl. Well, you you ended up doing like treetop or angel, but none of that matters. <laughs> Because we're about to swap sides here. We're going to trade. Because artists, yeah, that's their final form, but it's actually a moose. <laughs> All right, artists, I've got two minutes on the clock for you to turn this wonderful final form into a moose. All right. All right, then it's going to be three, two, one, moose. Go. We are moosing it. Moosing it real hard. I can't believe I'm doing a furry art. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, has the drawing circus come to this? Yeah, it's definitely come to this. <laughs> God, I think this is what a moose healer looks like. <laughs> it's alright. I'm not entirely sure anybody in chat has seen a moose, so I feel like you've got some wiggle room here. Chat, if you have seen a moose, alert the authorities, because moose are dangerous and large. I, I had a friend who couldn't go to work because they walked to work, and there was a moose in the road. <laughs> Chad is chanting moose dragon, and I'm not really sure how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, you know what I can do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now... It depends on which side of the fence the moose was on, Daydream Glitterbug, because if it was inside the fence, it's probably an exhibit, and if it's outside the fence, then it's probably an agent provocateur, 
and is going to uh, disrupt the zoo very hard. <coughs> There's a moose safe enclosure with a dry moat to keep it away from people. I believe that it's probably just erecting its castle. Moose are dangerous. Moosels. Mises. Moose. Moose. <laughs> Months. All right, they do have uh, different color uh, apologies. <laughs> you got ten seconds, artists. <laughs> Moose ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awful. <laughs> you said this is awful, and I'm those pens sense. down, artists. You are out of time, but I do gotta say. <laughs> I do gotta say here that we have got a strong contender. Oop, I'm on the wrong layer now. It's me, Dio. <laughs> I, I am happy that everybody had to witness a Moose Dragon with a gun. <laughs> Moose Dragon with a gun. My new OC. Please do not see it. <laughs> we may have a, some best in show stuff going on here with this one. Like, just wow. <laughs> that is a fine pedigree of moose, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but who would be judging such a pet show where such a fierce creature would get such a terrific award? Well, clearly, it is the Bad Manners Badger. <laughs> that was one of my prompts that I put in today. Well, you get to draw it, congrats. Are we are we going back to our regular side? Or you are. Go, go back to your corners, artists, because <gasps> it's time for Bad Manners Badger, everybody's favorite after-school special host. I have no idea what this is, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to draw a badger. That's all right. He used to hang out with Space Dog back in like the seventies. They they kind of blew up together, but uh, Bad Man what? Badger just kind of he did not do super well. He ended up trying to do after school specials, but his you know bad manners thing that he couldn't let go. It's it's real <laughs> terrible. Like it's tragic. You can read about it on the wiki later. What? All right, artist. <laughs> bad manners, Badger. It is going to be three, two, one. Stay in school, kids. Go. I uh, mm, all right. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> don't worry, I didn't actually remember to look up a picture of a badger either. I look, it was Space I, Dog, I Scruff McGruff, Food Fight, and Bad Manners Badger. Everybody knows about these guys. Like, I, I can't let you guys go looking for pictures of Bad Manners Badger when everyone knows who he is. We got deadlines to meet, folks. Things moving so fast. <laughs> I don't know what my badger is even doing anymore. I had an idea, and now I don't. <laughs> That's a leg. <laughs> yes, sir. Bad Manners Badger Judges the Talent Show is one of my favorite VHSs growing up. It was distributed directly to schools. Oh, jeez. Mm hmm. Mm, interesting. I don't know why I started this and like a badger picture. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how he got away with saying the F word so many times back in the 70s. It was Wait, bizarre. What? Jeez, what the hell did I miss him? <laughs> Look, Bad Manners Badger like used to just casually drop the F bomb in after school specials. Nobody knew why he got away with it, but he, they still sent him out. I think my school district got it because it was really cheap. You couldn't get, like, the premium after-school specials, you know? That was reserved for the rich kids. Now we had Bad Manners Badger, and we liked him. <laughs> Artist, you got about five seconds left there, you know, in, in your teeth. You know, just, you know, just right. Eh, whatever. Just put those pens down. You're out of time. <laughs> Close enough. Mm-hmm. No, this is, <laughs> this is all together. I'm sorry, I was I couldn't remember what a badger looked like. Well, usually they're terrestrial, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, in a tree. He was in a tree. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what 
the competition was for these wonderful mooses. The the runner up, the second prize winner, that would be Squid Wolf. What? Artist, you ready to draw a Squid Wolf? Uh, sure. All right. Hold on, give me just a sec to get myself the right color. All right. All right. All right. Then it is um... three, two, one. Squid Wolf, go. So let's just grab uh, this. Uh, okay, that wasn't quite the right color. Whoops. <laughs> and delete this. Mood. <laughs> Dragonatia, I'm really sorry that you have to put up with noise, so we will try to keep it down here on the circus. We're failing. We're failing at keeping it down. I'm sorry. That was that was way way too deep a task for me. <laughs> Squid Wolf got them appendages going on. Who oh boy? Perfect. Squid Wolf taking form all over this canvas. There's just there's just a ton of squid just going on there. Gross. We got about 25 seconds left up on this clock here. I have to giggle at the fact that apparently any time on the drawing circus I draw a wolf, I have to have its tongue doing a blap. <laughs> well, I just went with the oo woo. <laughs> <laughs> Put those pens down, artist. You are out of time for adding this here squid wolf. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, this is definitely this is definitely shaping up. This is going real well, artist. I'm really enjoying what we've got here. But uh, we just got a new sponsor. Right? Oh no. And they haven't given us any details, but I need you to add the sponsorship. Uh huh. So, artist, I'm going to need you to just add the sponsorship, okay? You got that covered? Cool. I got two minutes up on that clock. This image brought to you by three, two, one, go! Um... Time's ticking, artist. <laughs> uh, okay, Look, I'm gonna... brand name is bringing us this image. You got to be on your toes, artists. <laughs> Honestly, I don't actually know what the copyright laws are, are on prompts like this, now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more deeply. Like, are we representing their corporate imagery in a light that they may not respect? But at the same time, this is the individual work of these artists. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what are we going to do when we get sued? The answer is find out. <laughs> but tonight is not that night. I haven't drunk a monster in years. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> you go for monster and I went for seven up with spot. <laughs> brand name is great for what ails you. If you're feeling down, just grab yourself some brand name. <laughs> cool spot coming at you. Cool spot is easily the only mascot cool enough for this circus, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I do that? Oh, hang on. Oh, I, I should have the tools to it. Oh, man, hang on. And, uh... Oh, no, no, that wouldn't work. Shit, All right. Mm. You know what? Let's just simply stick with the plan. For this. Make it big again. In everything, like, unrelated to, like, all of this going on, uh, Gold Vision's Stick to the Plan is maybe one of my favorite videos of his. Anyway, back to the show. That's what an actual plug sounds like for stuff I like. <laughs> five seconds, artist. You got five seconds. 
Artists, you put those pens down. You know, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm really digging what you got here. This is, uh, this is looking pretty good. Yes, sir. This is this is really good. Except, uh, we're partnered with a shaving company, so I'm gonna need you to add like a hundred percent more beard. Oh, jeez. Two more minutes beard. on the clock for just a hundred percent more beard. After all, like this, this shaving company, like they, they they need some facial hair. So it is three, okay. two, one. Beards go. <laughs> beard is bigger than I meant. Oh well. I like that the fuzziest thing in the room gets the first beard. No, no, no oversights here. <laughs> Majestic. He gets a <laughs> Spot gets a beard head of mustache. Tanjo throwing them beard bits, aggressing our poor timer. Five seconds left up on that clock, artists. Plenty of time. So much time. <laughs> Man, I need to call Dollar Shave Club and show them this and see if we can actually make that a reality. Because I'll plug it. Fight me. <laughs> Did you give your moose dragon a Fu Manchu? Yes. <laughs> I can't tell if I should be upset about this. <laughs> oh yeah, Vita Joe, I, I remember I the hungover the dare set. Badger into big boss, so oh, there you go. <laughs> He's punished now. <laughs> You put those pens down, artists. How dare you? <laughs> Bad manners badger was a respectable person. Are those just like free floating beards just in the wild? Yes! Amazing. They just laugh people's faces. Like you said more beards! <laughs> That's on the record. Oh. oh my. Oh jeez. That, uh, that is quite the thing that you've got going on in there. <laughs> Artists, you know what's keeping this from just being a real work of art? I got 60 seconds left in the clock to, to make up for this grievous error. Just put a bird on it. Then it's art. A bird? Yeah, just put a bird on it. All right, oh, then no. it is three, two, one. 60 seconds of bird. Go! And then, uh... All right, I can still. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quiet. I'm feeling, uh -huh. I'm feeling emotions stirred up by this panel now. Before, no, just nothing, but now, oh my. And yes, the bird has a beard too. Yes. Uh, Twitter, please do not buy my account. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that bird's quite thick enough to get the banning. Um, mm -hmm. I, I could, but I wouldn't have enough time for that. <laughs> You're right, because you are out of time, artists. <laughs> Go ahead and put those pens down. <laughs> Just... Not quite, Que, but. Mm -hmm. Sort of almost, joke, almost close enough, Quay. <laughs> From Songstress, <laughs> I gotta know. This is still your final form, right? <laughs> Apparently <enough>. not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. We have ascended beyond the final form. Clearly, <laughs> things have only gone up. Cupo, I, I gotta know. Yes. Squid Wolf versus mm -hmm. Moose Dragon. Like, I don't have a movie set. That's Space Dog's territory. Which one wins? They're just best friends. 
Oh, they're just best friends? Yeah, they're just best friends. Oh. They, they, they go on magical adventures. Uh, th that's why that's why Squid uh, that's why the Squid Wolf is hugging the dragon, you know? Oh yeah. Getting getting that embrace on. Now yeah. Chad's been talking about it, and do you guys remember the Bad Manners Badger shorts? No. <laughs> a few of them, yeah. Yeah, you remember a little of them? Do you remember like the drunk hungover set when he did like a bunch of dare videos, but it was like really clear he'd been like binge drinking the night before? Mm-hmm. I remember that one. Man, the 90s were wild. Anyway, artists, let's get all this off of the canvas here because it is time to move on to the hazardous environment section. <gasps> Yay! What? <laughs> so I have uh... artists given to me a couple of images from the uh, Society Against the Use of Chemical Weapons, and mm -hmm. we have these wonderful little CDC men, which I will paste down one for you uh, here. And... Okay. I will get one loaded in... It's over here. Hang on. I got it. It's... it's hi. There you are. There you are in that folder. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm so happy that I finally get to do one of these rounds. <laughs> So this one is less competitive, but we're going to be drawing these little men in a hazardous environment provided by our wonderful audience. Sure. I'm so hoping that it's the prompt that I'm <laughs> today. I don't know, but I, I, all, all I want is somehow to make them into these. Now, there is, there is something in here that would bring these hazardous environment persons to the hazardous environment. And artists, it is my boyfriend. We are going to include what? my boyfriend in this scene being incredibly menacing. You have two minutes on the clock to set the scene. Artists, are you prepared? Uh, yum. All right, then it is three, two, one. My boyfriend's terrifying. Go. What am I doing? I know who you. Well, no, no. We'll just keep going with it. <laughs> I mean, good luck. Keep guessing. <laughs> That's not how community submitted prompts go. <laughs> big eraser. Big eraser for big mistakes. There we go. See, what it is, is people put things on the teleprompter and I have to read it. That's just how it is. I'm like Anchorman. <laughs> a lot of squares going on here. Hang on. Uh, do this. Hmm. And then we bring it like about there. And while y'all are doing that, I like to do this. I need to just add it to their blank, but I like to kind of set these guys apart with their little rubber ducky suits from the rest of the image. Don't worry, you can still draw over. By all means, think that nothing is sacred here on Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus. got 20 seconds left on that clock, artists. <laughs> oh, man. It's not terrifying enough. Hang on. I mean, look, they, they don't call him Hot Potato for no reason. <laughs> That's Mr. Hot Potato. <laughs> <laughs> you put that pen down, you sassy thing, you. <laughs> Giant guy hiding in the building. <laughs> oh my. But it doesn't matter how giant or fire breathing and starchy, like, one boyfriend is. Like, that's just. That's not enough to bring an entire CDC team in to investigate. <laughs> Artists, I'm gonna need you to add my terrifying <coughs> wife to this. What? My terrifying wife found out about my Godzilla boyfriend, and, well, it's just awful, so, Artists, I need you to come together here and draw this environment that is making. These CDC men so imperiled. Are you prepared? 
Uh, give me yes. one quick second. I just need one. There we go. And, uh... This scandal is gonna hit the New Yorker. It's gonna be big. Oh, wait. Actually, let me move the hot potato. All right. Okay, now I'm, re now I'm ready. All right, you are ready. I am ready. Cupo, are you ready I to am draw ready. my terrifying wife? Yes. All right, feel free to hit that whole canvas artist, by the way. This is a collaboration round. It is three, two, one. My terrifying wife. Go. Now, you see, this is all a very interesting story, which I will refuse to tell forever. That's just how it is, chat. <coughs> so I get in here and I set our little little CDC mans apart from their surroundings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should have definitely screened the music for the show a little bit tighter. This is not the usual kind of upbeat funk that I'm looking for. You know what? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't listen to this funk, but I am assuming it is fan friggin' tastic. Oh yeah, no, it's it's real good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's get back to normal here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing over here anymore. I mean, that's just well, kind I'm of the drawing circus experience. <laughs> 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 oh, hang on, wrong hold. There we go, and I'll uh, make orange. Just, you know, <laughs> orange enough. Yep. <laughs> you know, I'm drawing a waifu. <laughs> Apparently, it's the return of Squidward. <laughs> oh, Squidward, please save us. Oh, man, you guys found me out. <laughs> you got me, artist. Put those pens down. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe you're having a double relationship with them. Oh, that's Ooh. not all. That's not all that's making these these wonderful little CDC men very, very uh, imperiled. Why, there's the roid raging rabbits, of course, that are terrorizing what? this whole scene. <laughs> you know, uh, the raging rabbits? They're, I think they're uh, okay. a Ubisoft property? They punched out Mario and Smash, it was terrifying. Alright. Alright, you're ready? Yes. Alright. Uh, then it is okay, now I'm ready. gonna be three, two, one! <laughs> hitting the gym, then hitting your face, go! This art hitting your eyes, my goodness. <laughs> this is uh this is definitely some high quality art that we've got going on in here. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> King Ray 582, thank you for them bits. And welcome to the drawing circus. <laughs> Where I've got artists drawing prompts way too quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's not so much a roid raging rabbit as it is a ra a rabbit and his stundle. <laughs> Could this what? art be the work of an enemy stand? <laughs> I believe that it is, in fact. Just yes. Full yes. I just realized that their their eyes are probably not, like, yellow rubber. That, that seems like an oversight. There we uh. go. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, sir, they are taking all kinds of samples from this hazardous <laughs> environment that they have going on here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. It's alright, well you got ten more seconds to not know what you're doing for. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> 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 so we have a thing. Artist, put those pens Roid down. You're out of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These roid raging rabbits. My wife, my boyfriend, the CDC man. This is all. This is all. Oh goodness. I don't know if I can take it, but there's still more. There's still more that is afoot that these men are investigating right now. You know what it is, artist? Do you know? It is the Great Molasses Flood. Oh. It's just molasses. Okay. It's everywhere. You got, to gotta make it back into the 60s cell again. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, New York. <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> Alright, it is Great Molasses Flood in, in 3, 2, 1. Go, artists! This environment is looking pretty hazardous, I gotta say. Look, the past was scary, everybody. People were dying of, like, diseases all the time. <laughs> the Great Molasses Flood is one of those wonderful things that most people just kind of refer to as the incident, and nobody tries to discuss any further. I love that about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those incidents that it's like, what? This happens? Yeah. <laughs> it, it did. It's like, why? Oh, you know. Kind of <laughs> it's up there with the word defenestration for me. Ah, I love that word. Oh, I love that word. For anybody who does My not know what it means to defenestrate, it means to throw out of a portal or opening, like a window. I, I have always heard it as specifically to throw out of a window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My my Spanish teacher, <laughs> he used to defenestrate water bottles. <laughs> oh, you what? <laughs> the French did it best when in the defenestration of Prague. That was uh, <laughs> that's another weird historical event where they just got mad at the government, so they threw everybody out of the windows. <laughs> Tragic then, weird now. The best kind of history. I, I think the molasses <laughs> doesn't really look like molasses, but oh well. There it goes. Clearly the boyfriend is the uh, source of all this molasses, right? <laughs> just just barfing up the molasses. It is both <laughs> his weirdest and hottest move, I just gotta say. Like, and here damn, I was gonna say molasses. it's raining molasses. You know, in a sense. In a sense. It's a rain. Sorry. <laughs> I should not start it's raining. I should not start singing that song. <laughs> yeah, please, what? please, no. No oh, singing on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Artist, you put those pens down. These, these, that was a good putting that pen down. That was ace. <laughs> You're welcome. Dang. But you know what? You know what? I think that these guys are in way over their heads. So we're going to bring them in some help. Bring mm -hmm. them in, Cuddle Puppy. They need, they need their spirits lifted. Artist. Oh, I think that was another one of my problems. <laughs> I got two minutes on the clock for Cuddle Puppy. And I think that'll be everything they need in three, two, one. Cuddle puppies, go. I see you jumping the gun down there. <laughs> I guess I, I wanted to drop poppers. <laughs> you babels. Worf. And if you're out there in the audience and you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, man, I can do better than this, then you are invited to try. If you join the Discord down below the player, you can become part of this weird arts community that we've got going on here. You can submit prompts all week, you can go ahead and hang out with us in our public draw pile, you can just kind of be a cool guy and play video games and not do art at all if you want to, but just come on, hang out. Be one of the crew. Oh, cuddle puppies. <laughs> Is that cuddle puppy made of bones? <laughs> no! It's looking kind of kind of bony. It, it's the molasses It's supposed one. to be fluffy! <laughs> it's the I, it's, I can see through him is the thing. Get get that no, upper a uh, sandwich. It's because I accidentally used the same color as the molasses. <laughs> yeah, the molasses just just kind of melting through him. <laughs> Mark, 
Bark! <laughs> he spoke from beyond the grave! <laughs> the terrifying woofer! <laughs> there, now you can't see through him, although unfortunately hey. there went his eyes. There we go. That's a that's a much fluffier cuddle puppy, my goodness. <laughs> I have added the eye shine for it. now their spirits are high. <laughs> <laughs> Artists, I think this is pulling together real well. Just fantastic. <laughs> Artists, put those pens down. You are out of time. <laughs> now, I believe that this environment has gotten about as hazardous as it can get. <laughs> Artist, would you care to sign this one? And then I'm gonna have to ask you a couple of questions. I need some things clarified here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have a set signature yet. Kupo, I have to ask you, was yes. my boyfriend giant before he got crazy or am I only noticing it now? Uh, it's been there for a while. Oh, has it? Why did nobody say yeah. anything? Yeah, that's why, gracious. Hey, that's why your boyfriend and Bows that are fighting <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Rose Songstress, when did I marry Squid Wolf? Like, <laughs> the anniversary's coming up, I can feel it, but I just need to know. It, your anniversary is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the worst part about marrying an octopus is you gotta get her, like, eight rings. It was very expensive. As opposed to, uh, eight Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Look, I didn't marry no Robotnik, alright? <laughs> My family has higher standards than that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> now, artists, I can... Let's give you guys 10 minutes to get up, stretch your legs, grab a glass of water if you're looking for one real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys intermission. You know, hit the head, shake your wrist out. You guys have been drawn for like an hour here. And I need chat, to pet my cuddle puppy. Chat out there. I see you. I see you talking. Oh, go on. I need to just mess around with my cat. Yeah. Just, you know, take 10 minutes. Don't worry. I got your back. As you come back, feel free to join in the chaos or anything. But chat out there. I see you. And, uh, it's time for you guys to do to me what I've been doing to them. I'm gonna put ten minutes on this clock, and I am going to try to draw everything that you ask me to draw. So, let's do it. Three, two, one. Cupo's cat. Oh, the worst part is I've seen it, and I'm gonna just draw it really poorly. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. But yeah, let's draw. That's not how ears work. Draw us a kitty. I think it's got one of these going on. There we go. That seems about right for Kipo's cat. Absolutely adorable and a jazz loving giraffe turned against the law yeah we can do that one i think i don't have time to look up any uh references here either so we're just gonna kind of go with some things that i've seen reason recently also because i also very much want to draw all the prompts that we get in here but if i did it'd ruin the entire show all the surprise would be spoiled There we go. Wait, nope, there we go. Sure enough, we got our jazz giraffe there, which, by the way, would make a fantastic. Oop, hang 
Incubus cat. There we go. All right. Gamera. Camera's just swinging by. <sighs> Alright, cool. I've returned from petting my cat. I'm proud of you. Take care of I your cat. Have, uh, as Beauty Joe would put it, I have returned from being played with my- or, uh, played by the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask, how uh, close am I on my rendition of your cat? Uh... She looks this adorable, yes, and you should have pictures on the, uh... <laughs> I don't have time for references. We're putting a show on here. Well, you know what? You're right. Oh, shit. I'm bad at this. I can't go look at a picture of a cat to draw a cat. That's cheating. Also, I'm making oh, a tangent no. line out of these sunglasses, which Gamera definitely had. Uh, she definitely hated that I picked her up, and I was like, oh, there's my cute little baby. Because <laughs> she just started meowing at me. I'm like, no, please put me down. Mousetrap, the board game. I am actually working on that over here. I guess we're gonna have two mousetrap board games. Mm -hmm. Done. All right, Mad Max esque vehicle on its side. <laughs> oh, we have endpoint Mad Max, right? Oh yeah, no. You just oh, just drive your just drive your vehicle on its side. It's a strat. Yeah, yeah, problem solved. Self-destructed. <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hang on. It's, that is the intermission. I should probably do that. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Treat yourself. You got a couple minutes here. Let's see. Um... Oh. Oh, that's name. creepy. Somebody there said an isopod. There we go. I, I had to Google what that is. <laughs> Cupa, thank you for the host of the show you're that you're welcome. in the middle of being on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. I see one that I have to do. Uh, there's Portrait of Beauty Joe. That is mine. Let me draw that. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I should have done this like three I was like, hey, you know what? It's totally professional. <laughs> it's alright, we're all learning here. Except for me, I'm already doing pretty okay. Just look at this isopod. Look at her! <laughs> I'm definitely not copping out on the fact that they roll up into cute little balls. Also, how can I draw an isopod? Carefully. And not include its favorite tree. Everybody knows that in the wild, isopods eat nothing but Doritos. The pimped up python. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, I had to answer something. You got Cherry MX Blues. <laughs> Did I call it? Is, that, is that, that your switches? I gotta know. No. No? Oh, no. What switches you got in that keyboard? Because that's definitely oh, mechanical. No, it, was just, it was just a mechanical keyboard, unfortunately. I was just... Right. I, I wish it wasn't as noisy, but mechanical keywords. There. Yeah, no, well, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, what are the switches inside? You got, like, buckling springs, you got red. It's definitely not reds. It's definitely, like, blues or greens, maybe whites. Uh, that one is just an, uh, it's a keyword that'll just light up, like, the colors of the rainbow every once in a while. So, basically, you no... just don't know. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. There's no settings or anything that I can mess around with. It's just, like, it lights up. Neat. <laughs> no, no, it's the specific it's... hardware, like, inside. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm an Oh, the hardware person. inside? No, unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, I even forget the name of the brand, too. It's like Dragon something. Dang. Of course, know? I buy a keyboard with the name Dragon on it. Yeah. I, I have a feeling that you maybe have been a victim of some branding. <laughs> maybe. 
<laughs> it, it's not like I have in my room like two dragon statues <laughs> and multiple drawings of dragons. I I know I have at least two dragons in my room too. Uh, I also yeah. have a dragon mask. I haven't picked up any dragon per paraphernalia, uh, paraphernalia in recent years. I knew a friend who had an incense I, burner though, and that thing was red. The smoke I used to would have slowly drain out of its nostrils. Oh, oh man, cool. that is pretty cool. Oh, there's another dragon because it's a dragon Pokemon. Got it! Oh yeah. There you go. I mean, <laughs> I love how one of the comments is like, only two dragon statues. <laughs> Oh. Okay, no, get the fuck out. All right. <laughs> we have a request for bees. Lots oh, of bees. Yes. Uh, draw the fluffiest bee, please. Can I have my normal pen, please? Thank you. No. Definitely not. Not allowed. Well, I I took care of drawing Beauty Joe. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Beauty Joe's on TV! <laughs> oh no. Oh boy, I should probably join in this uh, bee madness. Bees! What is that? And I love it. It's my best memory of Dr. Bees! And his uh. suitcase full of bees, which will fix this. <laughs> More bees. Chat just keeps requesting bees. <laughs> Just, just keep drawing bees. Just, just, just keep drawing bees. This is this is this is life now. Look, they say that when you're getting into art, you want to draw stuff that like people will appreciate, and it turns out you just gotta draw a bunch of bees, all the time. Yeah. Nothing else. Always bees. Like like bee butts. It's oh, just... so many bee butts. Yeah. You got you gotta make sure that those bee butts are appreciated as well. We've got 10 seconds left on these bees, everybody. I'm working on them. More bees. More bees. The intermission I has have... just devolved into bees. Put those pens down. We're out of time, everybody. And this has been the intermission in which I suffer at your behest, audience. I hope you appreciated it. <laughs> because I frankly- I kind of have one hippo to see this because he'll be so fucking pissed off. This is some good stuff. <laughs> Bees' transmission is saved to my hard drive forever, and with that, let's get back to the show, shall we? Yeah. Oh, we should probably delete that as well. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's just enough layers now that it's getting to be a little bit of a chore. But everybody, Hi. everybody, I've been doing my best to keep up with this, but I don't think that I'm doing us enough favors. So. Everybody out there, you know what time it is? It's time for the Reels O Feels! Woo! So, the Reels O Feels are an automated prompt production machine that bring to oh, you sweet. rapidly a noun, a verb, and an emotion. And they're gonna be putting together the prompts for this next round here. As only cold, unfeeling machinery is capable of truly speaking to the human spirit. You ready to spin those wheels? Yes. Good. Round and round and round they go. Where they stop, nobody knows. Especially not me. <laughs> oh, Artists. No, that can't be good. The machine has elected for you to draw the presence speaking enragedly. The what? The, the presence. 
the presence. Not the presents. It's the presence. You know. Alright. Like something oh. that is is present, not something that is a present. The presence is speaking enragedly. I got two minutes up on that clock. You ready, artists? Yeah. Sure. All right, then that's gonna be three, two, one, a go. Intentionally, practically blending into the background. <laughs> This machine is not a hack job. This is the <laughs> finest machine that my engineers could bring to you, the audience. It is a wonder of technology, a marvel, bringing you the highest quality prompts, thoughts, and emotions that money can afford. Let's go to that art, shall we? I, I love that it was one of your engineers that called it a hack job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shush you. <laughs> 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 what shooting me because I know that <laughs> your ears are. I know they're still up. Don't worry. I only ate like forty seconds of your life on those reels where you couldn't see the art happening live. I mean, what is that compared to the entire rest of the week, everybody? I know it pains me too. But you remember, we got the Patreon down there. The more dollars get thrown at that, the more time I can take not doing a day job, and the more time we can do having circuses. So, by all means, if you want to support the show, throw a couple of bucks at it. It'll do me some good. Otherwise, feel free to share the show around. Like, people need to know about this garbage. It's good stuff. It, it is indeed good. That is a spooky presence you got going over there. Both of you. <laughs> oh, hang on, it's spooky enough. No oh, jeez! Oh yeah, bring in the red marker! Look, you bust out the red marker, it either means that something has gone wrong or something has gone very, very right. Just depends whether you're in the circle or not. Circus, sorry. I've been playing a little bit too much Battle Royale. <laughs> Put those pens down. You're out of time, artists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As you I, can I like see, the machine is going very well tonight. As such, let's spin them again. Oh jeez. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. What? What are the? What are the reels gonna add this time? I don't know. Let's see. Round they go. Round they go. What do we got? Artists, in the next two minutes. The extension is impeding wonderfully. Wait, the, the, what? what? The extension is impeding wonderfully. Impeding wonderfully. It's the extension. The extension <laughs> is impeding wonderfully. I, mm, you know what? I right, think cool. I got this. All right, you feeling it? You feel yeah. it? Uh -huh. All right, artist. Then it is. I got two minutes. It is three, two, one. The extension is impeding wonderfully. Go! <laughs> oh, big mood. <laughs> I'm sorry. I used to have to work with an extension cord, so this just... <laughs> oh, you're going for extension cord? I was going for, like, the uh, browser extensions. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we have really cut to the core of human emotion on this one. You know what? <laughs> uh, I gotta, I gotta bring this back. Like Chrome or anything like that. Extensions are like puzzle pieces. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I don't know why that. Oh, I don't know why that happened either. Oops! 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 Oh, jeez. Nothing. Got it. Got it. I gotta bring this back right here. Cause uh, there we go. Some high quality biz going on there. <laughs> the biggest mood. <laughs> I used to work at a laser tag place, and we had to use an extension cord when vacuuming in the arena. And let me know, tell you, it got in the way so bad. <laughs> I believe it. Uh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you have enraged <laughs> chat. They are losing their minds. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this. <laughs> oh, I'm just dropping a puzzle piece. <laughs> 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 this is impeding his progress. <laughs> it's only me it's merely containing his anger. <laughs> I, 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 I put those pens down. You are out of oh. time. Also, I know exactly, exactly which extension this is, too. <laughs> oh, I got the wrong. Hang on. The fact that I have actually annoyed chat with the extension cord is proof that extension cords are horrible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you don't know what that logo is, like, you just, oh you just don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was a good one. You were there. You were there in the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> the World War II trenches that were known as the internet on the New <laughs> Wednesdays. <laughs> oh my god. I'll put a grayscale filter over this later and some sad music. <laughs> Oh my Follow goodness. Me. But you know what? You know what? There's still so much canvas space. There's so much canvas space. Reels of feels, what should we put in them? Oh goodness, I can't think for myself. Please, please tell me what to do, O oh Machine Overlord. Only viable creator of artistic prowess. <laughs> Alright, the guess is shivering with misgivings. I'm sorry, the guess? The guess. The guess. The guess. What? What is this? A bootleg bot Batman villain? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? I got my prompt. <laughs> Do you mind if I borrow that? Go for it. <laughs> well, the guess is shivering with misgivings. I got two minutes up on that clock, and it is three, two, one. Brought to you by MP. You know, Marther Brothers. Oh gosh. See, I play, I play for, or Final Fantasy fourteen. I just read that as Mana. Why is MB? No, Marther Brothers. <laughs> bringing you some of the best, like DC Comics animated shorts in the history of you know stuff. Look, this gag is about as well prepared as the rest of the show. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the guess and the Riddler would not get along at all. If we're being real here, these people seem to be at odds. <laughs> Animated jorts indeed, Beauty Joe. <laughs> Beauty Joe, if you want to curate some of the lists, I would be more than happy to just take those lists and add them to our existing list so it makes one super mega list. The super mega list, oh god. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the giga list. The giga list. <laughs> the guess's origin story was just an ambivalent man who made up his mind and realized that he could give that power to anybody by just, you know, not caring anymore. Let's add some point to this. Yeah. <laughs> the misgivings oh, you know, no, are so strong. A turtleneck? Yeah. <laughs> you put that pen down, he has no neck. You're out of time. <laughs> I at least got in the shivering. <laughs> oh, well, my I got goodness. some shivering and like motion lines, I guess. Is that I, close enough? I just got regular shivers. <laughs> but you know what? I'm still seeing potential in this image. So, uh, once again, Rielzo feels, please help. Here goes. Oh, geez. Also, 
There was some uh, questioning last time as to whether or not either of my engineers here, EI or Beauty Joe, had inserted themselves into the prompts, and the answer is no. No, they did not. I did it. I never thought it would come up. <laughs> like right now, we have selected the very last prompt in the list of feels, and now it looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, the chart is selling injured. Oh, jeez. The chart is selling ah. injured. Remember, oh, the chart is. remember, injured is a so. feel, not a noun. Yeah, yeah. Artist, I got two minutes oh. on this clock. Are you ready to do the move? Um, sure. Then it is three, sure. two, one. Do it. Do that uh. move. Uh, oh. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. Did I steal your spot? I, I was going to draw there, and then I'm like, alright. That's right. Uh, I'll just go over here, and uh... You know what? It's fair. Oh. This time, that time I did forget the reels. That one's my fault. Sorry, everybody. Oh no. Somebody added me somewhere and I got a little disjointed. Distracted, not disjointed. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you for that bit! <laughs> oh god, I have no idea what I'm doing. A reminder, all those bits go directly to making the drawing circus bigger, better, and more ridiculous. So, by all means, make that noise. made the chart a little too small for writing, but I'm going to write any anyways. <laughs> this is the drawing circus, not the literary circus. That's, like, two doors down. <laughs> if anybody can read that... <laughs> well, I'll have to make it full screen on all of their monitors. <laughs> Finally, my dream realized. 20 seconds, artist. 20 seconds oh, on geez. that clock. Oh, jeez. Uh, give me what. Give me what. Give me what. And what. <laughs> Put those pants down, artist. You are out of time. Uh. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you know what? You know what would really tie this all together is one last spin of them their reels. So let's go ahead and bring those back up and see what we get. All right, round and round these wheels will go. Here they is. <laughs> A wall is learning keenly. Oh, oh, the wall. Oh, oh, we're back to comic books. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wall's, uh, it's, uh, it's established, uh, Spider-Man villain. Oh, yeah. The wall learning keenly as our final thing to just, just bring this whole thing together. Artist, right, you ready to just tie all of these loose ends back into one wholesome monkey's paw? Yeah. Sure. All right, then that is gonna be three, two, one, my timer application is just totally borked right now. One second. Hang on. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> go! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were doing it. Go! Oh, no. Oh, no. Honestly, I wasn't, but then it started working again, so we're fine. Everything's fine here. Don't worry about it. It's all great. <laughs> no, but what I was trying to do wasn't apparently great. <laughs> Let's let's talk about the wall while we're working. Oh come on! I added a new layer. Yeah, you gotta tell me about the wall. I don't know about the wall. <laughs> yeah, the wall is a uh, Spider-Man villain. If I recall correctly, all his literally backstory is that he just became indestructible, like a wall, and he's like, you know what? I I I am this wrong now, so I'm gonna go uh, steal stuff because you know. So why with not? with great power came great being a huge asshole. Is what yes. I'm hearing. 
Yeah, that sounds and, about par for the course. And there's literally a panel where Spider-Man tries to cannonball into the wall, and he just bounces off him. It's great. <laughs> And he's just a, just a walking giant uh, red brick wall. <laughs> it's great. Oh man, comics book back in the day were really really stupid, and I love them. Mm hmm. There's just a delightful playfulness that is kind of lost these days. Yep. Makes me sad. The wall. The wall. Also, for everybody in chat who is wondering about what we're talking about there, you can just take a look at that there. It's beautiful. I have learned so much so quickly. Learning keenly. Put those pens down, artists. You are out of time. And you know what? I think that this whole thing has come together with the addition of the wall. Learning keenly. Just, just beautiful. I can't. You can't break it down. You can't knock it down. Mm-hmm. No, can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop the rock. Artist, would you care to sign this beautiful, definitely not machine-generated art? As considered by machines, but expressed as only humans can. Strangely. And in a series of rapid-fire two-minute rounds. My rose weirder and weirder. <laughs> Your signature just keeps getting weirder and weirder. So, I have to ask, since we have ended up with a veritable rogues gallery of infuriating <laughs> buffoons, which came first, the wall the or the guess? <laughs> I'm gonna say the guess! <laughs> I would say just the extension. <laughs> <laughs> just the uh, just the extension pre thing, <laughs> especially in a flash. <laughs> so the extension leads up this rogues gallery. What superpowers does the presence have, Kupo? Uh, angry yelling. Just that's it. <laughs> just Everybody angry yelling. yelling. <laughs> you make the presence well known. The presence with the power to see your manager. <laughs> oh my god. Becky, please. <laughs> Rose Songstress, can you tell me what the guest has misgivings about? What the heck the extension is even trying to do, and why is there was a wall blocking it? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Such emotional tension can only be brought to you here on Wobbly Python's Drawing Circus. <laughs> Stay the course, true believers. <laughs> but with that in mind, it's time to do that thing we do, where we slow things down at the end of the evening and end it out with a sequence that I'd like to experiment with if y'all are on board with. Sure. Sure. Artists, I have got 15 minutes on the oh. clock and we are going to draw our best friend cinder block in what a sequence that i would like to call let's get emotional oh yes, yes. so we have 15 minutes to produce some real art we're all warmed up we've got to be at this point mm -hmm. otherwise what do we do for the past hour and a half but we are going to draw our best friend cinder block experiencing an emotion as provided to us by chat. So chat, feel free to just throw down a whole bunch of good, obscure emotions, and we will take that and run with it as far as our bricky little legs will carry us. For the next 15 minutes, we're gonna be looking at a cinder block. <laughs> Danjo starting strong, Glitterbug following up well. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I am looking at the chat and I am I I am feeling distressed. Uh, just... <laughs> well we got two votes for our best friend the Cinderblock, experiencing Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> All right, chat. I'm seeing two votes for one thing, and I think you all know what that means. Artists, are you familiar with the concept of schadenfreude? Is it like the pleasure driven by someone else's misfortune? Like, Yes. Like, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so for the next 15 minutes, I've got an open canvas for y'all to draw our best friend Cinderblock experiencing schadenfreude. Taking pleasure in your pain. <laughs> Who, who's suffering? We, we also need to establish that. Well, if it's Schadenfreude, it's definitely not Cinderblock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cinderblock is laughing. Cinder is Cinderblock correct. is correct. I muted my mic so you guys did not hear my hiccup laughter. Then I am going to set this loose in three, <laughs> two, one. Cinderblock experiencing Schadenfreude. Go. Oh, you want to draw the Cinderblock? Okay, good. Uh, I'll just draw a miserable uh, thing. <laughs> Bear in mind, you have a rockin' 15 minutes to polish the pants out of this image. Really, show them what y'all can do, artists. Oh, yeah. Sure. Mm. You know, in 15 minutes, of course. <laughs> you guys keep doing that. I'm just gonna... I, I just have Schadenfreude stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from the musical, Avenue Q. <laughs> oh, is there a musical bit for Schadenfreude uh -huh. there? Uh, -huh. uh yes. Uh -huh. There is a whole song called Schadenfreude. <laughs> and it's taking every ounce of, uh, uh, control not to just start singing it. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, what do you mean? <gasps> Say it. It's no longer covered by uh, Twitch, so obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I mention I... that I'm going to be harassing your illustrations while you work on this? Because let's get emotional. Are you kidding? I love the little hat for him. It's why he's now getting a mustache. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, that's gonna make it so much better. Hang on. Yeah. I was gonna do something dumb, but now I'm gonna do something even dumber. <laughs> Wait, I think Dumb and Dumber is still under copyright law. Oh, Wait. shit. Oh, man. We got so close with Avenue Q. We're really <laughs> running the line now. I, I, I'm going to add. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm totally adding something over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making Dr. Mario. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, he has like a weird hair in Smash, right? Mm -hmm. Oh man. They have a name for that, don't they? For like the little antenna hair that sticks up in the middle of a part? Oh, I used to remember that word. Weebs in chat, What? I don't remember it. As such, I am not befit to be your king. I cannot be Lord Weebington III any longer. I just have to be myself, which is just awful. Oh, hang on, Anna. <laughs> Ref my mech here. And uh, I'm actually gonna move that, so... <laughs> oh, I see you're doing it in a different layer. Oh, shit. Then I can't <laughs> move that, then. Oh, man. Can't be moved anymore, because it's in a different layer. <laughs> uh, so I'll just do this, and... Uh... Hang on. <laughs> So it should be something like that, 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 and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. no, um, I'm slightly off. Shit. 
<laughs> I feel like we're all slightly off here. I feel like that this takes a very off crowd to accomplish. And perfect. <laughs> and let's just draw. If if anybody gets what I'm actually or gets the reference of what I'm actually drawing, kudos. Yeah, drawing obscure things at the audience and just hoping for the best may not be the strongest strategy. <laughs> it, it, it's actually an Avenue Q reference. <laughs> oh my. I thought things I, were going I, in a different direction up top there, but something is happening. Oh, don't worry, something is indeed happening. Something uh, hang strange on. in the neighborhood. Uh, hang on, you know what? Let's fix that and, uh... Make it into a circle. <laughs> and give it an angry face. <laughs> give it a... Is that where it goes? I don't care. Oh, uh, no, wait, no. It goes in the middle. Right. Yeah. And. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Is this Thomas the Tank Engine? Yes. <laughs> you know, even it's as Thomas a... the Tank Engine. I'm about to run Dr. Mari. Even as a kid, I was always really disturbed by how uh, real their faces were. Oh, yeah. Like, that always... Even the stories are just kind of downright, like, why? That always just tripped me up. Just an absolute weird, weird mess. And then... <laughs> like, our, our friends in their block is, uh, you know, just the, the, the villain that decided to tie down Mario in the uh, <laughs> tracks. Somehow. Clearly, clearly Dr. Mario must be at the behest of some malpractice or whatever, because we all know that our best friend Cinder Block only fights for justice. It's like our boy Space oh, Dog. <laughs> oh man, uh, and it's... What are the colors of Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh man. It's uh, like gray and blue, right? Def definitely like some sort of a sky blue. Man, I don't remember... Like, I remember oh. Bad Manners Badger really vividly, but I do not remember Thomas the Tank Engine, and that's probably why Bad Manners Badger was the hit success and Thomas the Tank Engine is barely remembered by nerds on a drawing game show. Like, oof. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely some eccentricity going on here. Probably, maybe, maybe assuredly? Mm hmm. This Dr. Mario is experiencing some distress, that much is absolutely certain. Oh man, after all his years of malpractice, Fine. I'm not actually having a doctor license. I think Nintendo officially said that Dr. Mario doesn't even have these. I think so, yeah. Wasn't it like a loading screen on the website? Hang on, I'm gonna go to like Nintendo.com. <laughs> see, uh, Dr. Mario medical license. <laughs> you know what, yeah. Doc Mario taught typing, but what if Mario taught medicine? <laughs> mm. Oh man, that would be the best. Oh, they also have like the Don's Tank Engine because they're realistic. They have like no, right? Oh shit, they do. Ah. <laughs> let's, let's give it a disgusting nose. Yes. You should play Mario Teaches Typing. Everybody should experience that for a little oh, while. Jesus. <laughs> it is it is legit a good game that I will recommend to you, my friends. Yeah, you know, it's it's okay at least. <laughs> Poor Dr. Mario, he was never the same after that incident. I think
think Dr. Mario teaches medicine is just going into the prompts list. <laughs> yes, siree. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Somebody get Arcade Pit on the horn. <laughs> hey, I'm surprised that Beauty Joe isn't paying attention to the fact that I'm literally just drawing out the lyrics of uh, Sean Frida. <laughs> Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Beauty Joe was trying to figure it out. <laughs> Along with the rest of chat who is here. <laughs> it, it's at least little things that amuse me. <laughs> it's just the little details, you know? It's, it's the little <laughs> spices of life that uh, keep us going every once in a while. Little wedges of cheddar. I honestly thought you were drawing Master Hand at first, and that's why Mario has a wristwatch on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you- I just noticed that it's a wrist- I have to come clean on that. <laughs> I just- I thought it was like- I thought you were like drawing like medical- <laughs> No, no, this- this is the spirit of collaboration coming uh. to ruin an image between the two of us. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mario on the tracks. My goodness. <laughs> Avenue Q became a lot shittier of a neighborhood like after the musical was made. Like this is this is some rough stuff going down. This is some hardcore dealer business. I have no idea what I'm drawing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, friend, friends in the block is clearly uh, having the time of his life right now. Mm -hmm. Portland is uh, mustachio. Downright jovial. That sinister, sinister cinder block that we all know and love. <laughs> all hail. All hail. All praise. Glory be to our best friend cinder block, for he has driven from us this malpracticing doctor. Plumber. Plumber. Oh no, wait, he's not even a plumber anymore. Shit! Oh yeah, what does he even do? Mario, what oh, do you even do? What does Mario even do anymore? Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? <laughs> you had to draw on the bottom layer, Pops. I did. There we go. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I fixed it. This way I get to add some color to Cinderblock. <laughs> <laughs> he got oh, no. rich in New Super Mario Bros. 2, so nothing. That is that is apparently the answer. Wait, seriously? Oh, yeah, world, uh, he has a <laughs> Land. Land to his castle. No, Mario has a castle. That's, a, that's as much lore as we got from him. Oh, Luigi, yeah. Luigi has a mansion. But uh, Mario has a castle. Now, I thought Luigi's Mansion was just like a terrifying, horrible place that nobody ever wants to go for any reason. Except Mario and Luigi, apparently. Oh, yeah. I do not remember the plot to Luigi's Mansion very vividly. There's a mansion, Luigi's in it, it's bad, but the game is good. Hmm. If I recall correctly, it was uh, Luigi wins a contest, but Mario gets to the house first. <laughs> because of he wants to he check does. out the place. <laughs> oh jeez, that's a big, too big of a brush. I don't need that. We got about a minute thirty seconds for y'all to tie this image together as a cohesive whole. You know what? Let's erase the eyes. Let's uh, you know what? That, that'll uh, yeah, that'll do. This this will work. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Too thin. <laughs> They're all little thought bubbles. Aside from the one that he's actually watching. Bye bye. 
<laughs> Just making that little change absolutely makes it. Oh man. Wait, what? Now, you will recall that this image is supposed to bring you the sense that Cinderblock is experiencing ennui. And frankly, frankly, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling I good about it. I thought you said he's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Schadenfreude. I was having. I was having a uh, Freudian slip. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All of the different things he's thinking about, as he's loving the mm. fact that he has Mario all tied up. Harkening back to one of his favorite musicals. Bringing counterculture to culture in an aggressive way. Five seconds, artists. Oh, no. you, you and your years of all practice. <laughs> Put those pens down. Our 15 minutes have elapsed in this iteration of let's get emotional. And you know what? I'm feeling it. I feel like we have accomplished what we set out to here to the schadenfreude is real. Artist, this would you care beautiful. to save this image? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I think I'm good. Unless you're wanting uh, us to sign I it first. I took a out of it, so there we go. We're good, too. Alright. My thoughts are eventually it'll probably go on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I try to stay on top of that, but I've been real bad about it. I'm sorry, everybody. Anyway, let us go to the end, because that is all the time we have today, everybody. It has been a fantastic trip. Uh, Rose Songstress, tell us about yourself. Where can we find your art? Where can we find you outside of really cool game shows for handsome and attractive people? I am on DeviantArt uh, as Rose-Songstress. I'm on Twitch. I'm on uh, I'm on Tumblr, <laughs> uh, but mostly I'm on DA, and I'm also on Patreon. And if you follow, if you actually go to my Twitch page, then you will have all of the links because I have all of the links there. Excellent, excellent. And Cupo, tell us about yourself. Where can we find you on that big bad internet? Uh, Twitch mostly, and uh, Twitter at this point. Uh, you can find me on Twitch just by simply typing Cupo, A-Y-U-P-O. Uh, while in Twitter, I am actually going to buy Cupo underscore R Dragon. And that's Cupo underscore R Dragon? So Cupo, uh, let me, I can send it to you if you need to. I mean, if you want to just post it in chat, like, that'd probably help yeah, everybody yeah, out yeah, around I'll there. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just do that. Just... Yeah. It'll just make it easy for everybody. Toss a heckin' link in there. <laughs> it is just the letter R, Dragon. All right. All right, I'll give you a follow. I'll hit you up there. And with that, we are gonna find some place to head out to and take this party. Ooh, that'll be the one. All right, everybody, we're gonna go hang out with our good buddy, EI. So let's roll out. Give him that drawing circus love as he gets crazy with the Vigi games. And that'll be the Drawing Circus for this Saturday night, and we will see you next Saturday night, as we already have our artists good to go. Bye-bye. Peace.